Hey everybody, Tacoma Comics here. Got a short haul video coming to you. I'm going to be real busy next couple of days. Uh, we're flying out to uh, see my sister and my new baby nephew. First time ever on Friday, so I'll be headed back to the cold, snowy East Coast um, yeah, very soon. and won't have a lot of time or access to make these videos. Um, so the other day, I uh, got a, about two weeks ago, I got a nice little gift card to Amazon from uh, my girls' soccer team that I coached. Uh, really nice of them. Went above and beyond. They certainly didn't have to do that, but I really appreciate it. Uh, so I just ordered some stuff off Amazon. Nothing big or major, just stuff that I kind of needed or wanted, run fillers and, and you know some little stuff. So uh, those have been coming to school, so I thought I'd show you these. Uh, this one I opened already the other day uh, <laughs> because I did a video... And I did it during class when my students were working on a project and they started photobombing the video, which, you know, I would have done if I was a student too. So this one's already open. Not a big deal. Uh, like I said, run filler. Uh, if you watch my earlier videos, you know I'm going after every single Miss Marvel from uh, Volume 3. This is number two, fourth printing. Fourth printing, so I need to get um, number two, second printing, and the number two Wu variant. I've got first and third and now fourth of that. This one is really interesting. This one I did not open. I didn't have to open it because this is literally, literally how it came. Just arrived in the mailbox and put in my mailbox in the office just like this with this open, not sealed or anything. Um, looks like it just ripped off there or wasn't there. So I was a little worried about this one because, you know, it's no... Um, no extra cardboard or anything in there, just flat, doesn't say do not bend or anything. X Men 149. A little bit before I started collecting, so this was a back issue I used to have. The current one I have is a really bad copy, I really wanted to upgrade. Um, and this is quite an upgrade. It is whew, somewhere around an eight. I mean, I don't see dinks in it. Uh, the pages are surprisingly white for a comic that old, so, you know, I'd, I'd go above an 8. I don't know how far above I'd go. I don't see any spine ticks, no spine roll. Pretty good condition. So I thought it was kind of interesting. Um, the company that sent this one to me in the open packaging, it says... Uh, they say it's a 9.2, and they might be right. You know, if I didn't pay a lot for a comic, I'm unwilling to grade it at that high, but uh, it could be that good. Clean, flat, tight, no flaws, sharp corners, and still retains its gloss. Vibrant colors with strong eye appeal. Bagged and boarded, shipped first class in a secure, rigid mailer. Uh, YouTube community, is this a secure, rigid mailer? Uh, not when I ship comics out, but you know, other people might think otherwise, so I'm not complaining too much. It was relatively inexpensive. It's what I wanted, and I think, um, you know, it is, it does retain its gloss. Those colors really pop. Look at Kitty Pride, man. They just didn't know how to do a teenager back then. Now, there's a couple uh, pictures of her in here. So here, she stowed away on this mission, and Wolverine finds her. <laughs> Right, and holding her up by the seat of their pants. And she's just got this ridiculous outfit on, and Storm tells her off. And it's like, come on, kitty. You know, she was supposed to be this crazy girl into fashion. Um, and here she is down there in the corner. And I guess she designed her own outfit, but <laughs> it's just getting too wacky. Um, oh, I love kitty. I told you, she was like my first crush back in, like, middle school, early middle school, 1981 or something. Um, so there you go. All right, this one I haven't opened and it is sealed. It is in what I would consider proper shipping. It looks like a, a Gemini comic mailer or some other company. So it's got the folded cardboard inside taped up. So let's take a look at this one. Got to go right across the front here. How many other people freak out when they do this that they're going to, like, cut into their comics? Man, I always kind of freak out with that. There we go. actually kind of excited because I haven't looked at my order, so I forget what I ordered. I'm sure. Oh, okay, I know this one. There we 
go. You guys know I collect Lumberjanes. I think this is a variant to issue one. I know that there were a lot of variants to issue one, and I'm actually starting to collect quite a few of them. Uh, let's see. This is... Uh, oh, no. Number four, San Diego Comic-Con um, 14 exclusive. Uh... Brooke Allen, Noel Stevenson, Grace Ellis still on there. Very cool. Uh, Grace Ellis and Noel Stevenson, um, shout out Nimona on the cover of that. So pretty cool. Again, these are not major comics, but these are comics that I really wanted or needed or so I could get it at a good price, and I had the gift certificate, so I used it. Again, I think I feel cardboard in here, but this is not, again, what I would consider proper shipping. So... I just cut myself. Okay. So we'll see. Oh, yeah, there we go. This one's not too bad. It's a bubble envelope with two pieces of cardboard inside. So as long as the uh, comic itself is in good condition. This is nice. I mean, I, I kind of poo-pooed this the other day, but, um, you know, I don't like variants that have nothing to do with the story. This is the Kirby Monster variant to Miss Marvel 19 from the Volume 3 run. So uh, getting really close. Like I said, I need that Annie Wu. I need a couple of like the second and printing is of like number five and uh, number two. And then I also need that Jorge Molina um, variant to number two, which is like a ridiculous amount of money. And the uh, Art Adams color um variant to number one which i've got the sketch one so yeah there's a uh, miss marvel 19 this is called the kirby monster variant and it's kind of really cool in a throwback way but you know again the sue storm and and the thing they've got nothing to do with issue 19 of miss marvel so i never quite understood that other than they're trying to do all these homages and you know up their sales and of course there are people who buy variants because they love variant covers there's people who love kirby so they'll get all the kirby variants they're people like me we want to finish the run so we get every miss marvel volume three that was put out there even if it's a variant cover that we say we don't like we spend our money and buy it anyway and that's all there is to it all right um that's it for today uh i still got my contest going on i'll leave the link to that uh down in the comments below um, I got four entries so far. I'm really hoping to get, uh, you know, at least double or triple that. I uh, got a whole stack of comics. I'll do a, an update um, pretty soon for that. And uh, hopefully I get some more comic and uh, contest entries out uh, very soon. And, yeah, then I'll be taking off for vacation for a week. Portland, Maine, snow, cold, and baby nephew. I'm excited. All right, take care, guys. Tacoma Comics. Bye.